Hello, my friends. Just a couple of little announcements before we get going. Um, there's going to be no stream tonight because I'm still suffering from the man flu. It's definitely not the coronavirus because I have all I already avoid all contact with human beings anyway, so it it can't be that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna rec I'm gonna attempt to record this video. I'll try and edit out as much of the sort of snot and the leaking of liquids from orifices and stuff because if anything. It's too attractive um, and coughing and stuff. But I wanted to keep going with the journey and battling through like our forefathers did in the war, battling through and recording videos. It's, it's the equivalent. Right. Um, but I will be back on Wednesday, hopefully, with um, we're doing Crusader Kings. We're starting a new save with Crusader Kings 2. So it's a good time to jump in. But we're doing it with a Game of Thrones mod. Let's hope we can, you know, have a better ending. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. We're going to have a nice chilled out episode today because I can't get too excited or move too much because then it makes my snot burst from my nasal passages. So, right, transfers. Well, I've done bits, lads. I'm very proud of this. I didn't think I was going to go too crazy in the transfer window. And we've not gone too mad, but we've made a massive, massive sale. We've reinvested some of the money. We've got a couple of future transfers. All is good in the world. <coughs> Let's... um. Let's show you what's happened between then. So after our, was it 6-1, the last game against Inter back in winning ways, we beat Lokomotiva 2-0. So Tulo and Bobby getting a nice late winner. And then Rijeka, we beat them 2-1 as well. Miley Byrus and Perkovic getting the winner despite having the man sent off our left back. So that's good. Miley Byrus has been off off form, really. Um, then we had the break. Sibonek, we came back, beat them 0-0. And then Hadjik split, we beat them 2-1. Uh, Bobby and Goran Yako Yakov Levit. Oh, I can't even. I can't do it. Um, let's just. Let's just. <laughs> I'm gonna call him, and I know it's probably pronounced Yako, but I'm calling him Jacko. Um, and Jacko with the goals, who I'll show you in a minute. So we're today, once again, we are playing Dynamo Zagreb. Here's the league table. We did really well, so we've sort of kept in touch, but. But Zagreb are just winning all the games. They've only lost one game this season. But hey, hey, I'll take finishing second this season. It's an improvement. I want. To, I just want to make sure we're improving on last season. So let's take a few transfers. So there's some big news and some other big news and some other big news. Some slightly less big news and a small bit of news. So which do you want first? Big news. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot how that's YouTube works. It's been a few days. Um, so I sold a player. I sold a boot for eight point five million pounds, my friends, to Red Bull Salzburg. I the board didn't even take the money. It was I chose to sell him for eight point five. But first off, we've got Burkhart. He started to kick up a fuss about lack of first team football. He, he's never really been amazing. And he was on like 5k a week, quite one of our higher wages. So I thought, you know what? Sell him 600k. I think we wiped our face pretty much with him. Yeah, made a small profit. Um, yeah, he never really did it for us. So, and we weren't using a left winger anyway. So Burkhart has left. And then throughout the transfer window, we were getting offers for a bood. It was Most of it was between like 2.5 and 4. And I'm like, no, no, no. You know, it's not enough. It's not enough. And then... Just right near the end of the transfer window, start going up a little bit, six million. And then um, Red Bull Salzburg just flopped out eight and a half million pounds in cash. No add-ons or anything, just here you go, he's eight and a half. And I accepted it on behalf of the club <laughs> this time. Because I'm like, we can't turn that sort of money down. He's great, he's a great player, but eight and a half million pounds. Also, we got, I think we got another 1.2 million from a, a clause. I think one of our big sales, we had the sell-on fee, had played 50 games or something. So we got our 1.2 million. So we were rolling in the money. And with that, we've re reinvested some, but we've also um, making, improving the youth facilities. So when we do leave, we have le we're going to leave this club in such a good position. I'm so looking forward to when we leave to see how they get on without me. I think they've been brilliant. So that's good. That's cost about 3 million quid because we're already at great facilities. Um, I couldn't ask for the training facilities for some reason, but we'll, we'll ask again when we get the money. So finances, 
got 15 million quids in the bank, lads. We are absolutely smashing it. Wages at 54 grand. I was going to say it's an all-time low. It's probably not an all-time low. Um, but it's pretty damn low. It's back to where it was here. So uh, very, very happy. Let me take you through the transfers. So obviously we needed a playmaker. And his name is Nikola Ruplik. What I'm also trying to do is, as I've mentioned previously, getting too many foreign players in. It was starting to look a bit foreign, as Nigel Farage would say. So I thought, let's get some Croatian players in. Nikola Rupnik, we got from Dynamo Zagreb, who is a 20-year-old playmaker. The fact that they can let him go for a million quid without even batting an eyelid scares me a little bit because he's like brilliant. He's four and a half star potential, only 20 years old, 10 under 21 caps. <coughs> has played a bit of football. It looks like a couple just a sub appearances and stuff. So he was just starting to break into the team. But they, they were like, yeah, a million quid, go for it, go for it. So I was like, yes, we'll have him. Very good young player. And he's Croatian. And that was kind of all I was doing. I looked at a goalkeeper, couldn't really see an upgrade. Same as right back without sort of spending silly money. Or not right back, but other positions. Without going crazy and buying foreign players, there was nobody really. What we've done is we've gobbled up most of the available young Croatian players. <laughs> Sounds weird. Um, so the only other ones left are just like they're at Zagreb and they want 20 million quid for him. So, but then we found this guy, Jacko, as we now know him, um, who was playing for NK Maribor and had a release clause of 1.3 million pounds. He was valued at about 1.1. And he is a fucking beast. <laughs> um, he's a centre back. So him and Satulo just basically pawn. We might not, we probably won't get Satulo back next season. So this guy basically replaces him. But this season, we're going to have them both. Absolute beast. 19 years old, two under 21 caps. Like I said, he had the release clause of less than they bought him for. Because they got big brains over there at Maribor. They like to take a loss, maybe for tax reasons, maybe for dodginess. So he played one game and he's got a goal and a man of the match. He's done all right. He's had, he's had a start. But this is not where it ends, right? We've got future transfers. And this is, this is a little bit of genius. So first off, we picked up this guy, Leon Geng, at the end of the season, I think is, um, from Hapoel. Uh, just a central midfielder. I don't think he's ever going to be a worldie, but he increases our pool of youngsters and he could become a decent squad player. But he's on a free and low wages, so I picked him up. But this guy, Ivan Hranjek. I found him a couple of months ago and scouted him. Another good young Croatian. I was like, this guy could be good as, a, as an unganch, as, a, as an advanced playmaker on the left-hand side. And the scouts are like, yeah, yeah, get him. Um, he's available to anywhere between two and four million. So I was like, no, I'm not spending that sort of money on a player. And then obviously we made our big sales. And so I was doing lots of scouting again in the window. And uh, I put in a little bid. You know, you just sort of put in a feeler bid of like a million quid. And they were like, no, no, we want... Um, three million or something like that. And I was like, no, no, it's still too much, right? And then near the end of the window, I check the, just check to see who's available. And he's transfer listed. <coughs> Excuse me. He's transfer listed for 2.2 million pounds. So I took another look at him. I'm like, ooh, okay. Do I take, that's still a lot of money. And then, I thought, why has he been transfer listed? Maybe because I've put, you know, sometimes if you put in an offer and they reject it, the player gets pissy and wants to leave. But he was transfer listed because his contract was running out. So I was like, well, how about I don't give you two point three million pounds and I just sign him on a contract? He's nineteen years old. He's a very good player. Look, so there's the estimated cost. He could be a very, very good player. And I was like, yeah. I'm having to pay decent wages, obviously, to make sure he doesn't sign a new contract, to make sure he picked us, because he turned down Juventus. Because, um, you know, I paid enough wages that he basically said, you know, oh, that's a very acceptable offer and join the next day. So we made sure we got him. Very, very excited. We were on good form. <coughs> now, and now we lose to Zagreb. Okay, I'm taking me out off. I know it's a, I know it's a, I know it's a rarity. In YouTube, but my head is sweating. So <laughs> this is a lot harder than it than it seems right now. Right, as you can see, look, look at Byrus's form. What's what's going on with his form? I know all of you are freaking out. My big baldy head now. Um, 
It's just gone. He's, he's, his head's gone. To be fair, he's still got 20 and 20. So I'm not too disappointed. So, um, yeah, the team is looking pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Rupnik has now moved to the Ngonch position. And that gives Bogdan as the sort of backup. Although, like, he's playing really well. But I want to give Rupnik some games. I'm going to give Boggers for this game. <coughs> While the new guy's settling in. <coughs> I did even look at getting in a right winger. I'm fed up with Donitz. He got injured again. He's just back from injury again. I'm just fed up with it. He's doing my fucking nutting. So Perkovic is going to start. And he's actually started performing really well. So... Right, let's get into it. Moro's on the but Suzel's back from just coming back from injury. So Tulo suspended for this one. So karaoke doki's coming in. Along with Jacko. Right, this is it. This is the time we beat them. Right? What's that? 34. That's only that that one doesn't count because it was the cup match, right? And they had a man sent off after 10 minutes. Okay. So it's 34. Come on, boys. So probably like 30-ish, 32-ish in the league without a win. This is it. We need If we have any slight chance of winning the league, we have to beat them today. At least get a draw. But really beat them. Yeah, so I thought I'm going to try and record a video because it's not too bad and I can always take a break if I'm fading horribly. But I thought the idea of... I can feel it in my throat now, but the idea of speaking continuously for three and a half hours on a stream. I'm not quite there yet. Right. <clears throat> Come on, boys. This is it. Cheer me right up. Oh, no. Frick. Fink. Keeper? Keeper? Good save, Rosic. Come on, son. I, mean, I can't celebrate because I have to... Oh, my, the snot will come and I'll have to blow my nose. That's fine. That's fine. 16 minutes. I think we stay positive. Oh, God. <coughs> yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to playing a Game of Thrones mod. Because, you know, there's a lot of marriages and incest and sleeping with relatives and hot women. And well, the graphics are terrible, so it's not really hot women. They all look like a, from a game from years ago, which it is. But uh, yeah, the Game of Thrones mod should be a lot of fun. I'm just not sure where I'm going to start, what house I'm going to start as. <clears throat> All right, we'll take this. Keep it tight and then nick it. KP has obviously solidified his position on the, on the left-hand side now. He's been performing fantastically well. I'm bringing Bobby on. I think Miley Byrus had a 20-goal bonus. Do you think he just picked it up and was like, ah, oh, fuck it now? Oh, yeah, and to make, to make my weekend just a little bit better, um, Liverpool got thumped by Watford. <laughs> I'm sure a few of you are wondering how I feel. I've, that's all right. Obviously, it's never nice to lose, but to be honest, I've, I've been kind of waiting for it because the last couple of months, we've been scraping results and not playing great at all. You know, finding a way to win, like the good teams. They always say the big teams, you know, play crap and win. And that's kind of how we've been doing it. And that's never going to last. So, at least at least it cheers up Arsenal fans. They can have their invincibles. I don't care. It's been 30 years since I've won a league title. Liverpool, not I, me. Um, but, uh, so I'm, I just want the title. Just want the title. I don't care anything else. We can lose four games in a row now and then scrape over the line by one point. I don't care. I just want to win the league. <sighs> right, come on, Don. It's prove something or break a leg. One of the two is 50 50. All right, brushy. That's good. Away. Nice. Don, it's come on. This is it. Come on. You've got the pace. Come on. Keep going. Lovely. Is he onside? He's not onside. He's not onside. He's not. Oh, you would have got a fucking statue, Bobby, if you'd put that away. I think, I think it's... Uh, Bobby made the run. I think Donitz just waited a little bit too long. Come on. Oh. Don't. Don't. Oh, backheader from Smolak. Okay, looks like we're going to get a draw. It's, it's, it's a pretty good result. 
but they've got what is it an eight uh, eight point gap. Yeah, well done, lads. Jacko got an eight, seven point two. Legend. <clears throat> they labour to draw. No, we're a good team. We're second in the league, mate. Like, um, can you? Oh yeah, my youth facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great relationship with the chairman. Yeah, great relationship. It's fantastic. So yes, all is looking good. Wages are low. Bank balance is ridiculously higher. High. Um, wonder if I can ask for facilities. Oh, straight in. That's straight. Yes, like they're, they're loving it. I'm a god at this point, I think, so that I can just sort of say anything. And they're like, build a statue to me in the shape of a pyramid with a boob on top. And they're like, yes, Loki. 2.9 million. Investing for the future. I have looked at imp improving the stadium because we've only got a tiny little stadium. Um, but we, we, we don't actually, we don't, we don't fill it. We don't actually fill the stadium. Look, for the big game of the season... We've got 1,900 people. So we lack a few fans. It's, we're basically Man City at this point. We're rich, but we lack any fans in history. Right, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to end the episode there. <coughs> Excuse me. Are we going to zip on now? I think, I think unless they fall apart, which I don't think so, we're going to be battling for the second spot. But if we just keep the consistency up, we're undefeated for a bunch of games again now. So hopefully we can do the bits. But then when he plays Zagreb next, I might come back for the Zagreb fight game and the semi-final of the cup. Because <laughs> I've just, I've just, that's all it is now. Beating Zagreb. Right. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. I'm leaking. I'm leaking. I better go. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a, leave a pity like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you do. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.